Grandmaster, the highest rank in Overwatch. A dream for many, a reality for few. Only the top 1% of players reach this rank, and it isn't without years of practice and preparation. Well, for most people. For this specific person, it only took them 17 days to go from 2800 in Plat to 4000 in GM as well as top 500. Here is Kurobi's story. Let's go, let's go. Yo, my name is Kurobi. I'm a Twitch streamer. I play a lot of Zenyatta. And recently, I hit the big milestone of going from 2800 SR to 4000 SR in only 17 days. From Plat to GM, I learned how to become the best player I personally am to push my teams ahead and truly prove that I can hang out with the big boys. I'm just a guy who likes Sonic. I'm just an average guy and I like to prove that anybody can climb. So so what exactly is it that she did? Where, where did you start? And it was what, you said 17 days? A 17, 17 day climb. Days. Yeah. From, uh, plat well, from plat to GM, you said. I used to be diamond, but then I dropped like really far down all the way to 2800 I, I do remember that i'm pretty sure there and was a tweet at like 3 a.m yeah. you're like was, oh, i don't want to play anymore <laughs> there was a tweet of me contemplating my entire existence as an overwatch player i mean right here it, it'll be right here right here right in here. the middle of the screen right in the middle yes. of the screen it'll be right here uh <laughs> But yeah, I was I was sad and it was 3 a.m. or something like that. And I told myself, I'll never be a good player. And then so many people told me, nah, dude, you can do it. You just gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta try. And uh, I, I believed in myself. For once, I actually believed in myself. I surrounded myself with people who wanted to see me improve. And just like that, I, I did see that improvement. Yeah, I mean, and that's totally respectable. I think mindset is a big portion of really anyone's climb, especially within the lower ranks and like Plat and Diamond. I feel like mindset is, I, I mean, maybe you've kind of learned that, that mindset's probably like the most, one of the, one of the most important things that you actually define of like how you function, what makes you tilt, when is it time to stop? I think that's something that's really important to actually set in. But what's something I'm actually really curious about because I've only known you for, well, I mean, I've known you for a while, but I haven't really talked to you I mean, I haven't really interacted until the summer. When did you initially start? Where did you initially start? Were you like a bronze player to start? You were plat to start, gold to start? And how long did it take for you to actually initially hit all these different milestones? When I first started playing the game, uh, it was season five. I just graduated my... I didn't graduate. I actually just uh, finished my freshman year of high school. And... You know, I played the Overwatch free weekend, the first anniversary when the game came out. No way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no the, way. Fir the first anniversary is the free weekend. And I played it. And I and I begged my mom, Mom, if I got if I got good grades and a semester, will you buy me Overwatch? <laughs> and I worked my 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 buttocks off to get <laughs> good grades so my mom could buy me Overwatch. And I just remember the feeling of hearing the opening theme on the anniversary and seeing all the characters standing together. Yeah. Uh, but I will never forget the feeling of placing silver and then dropping all the way down to 800 SR. No I was, shot. I, I was a bronze player. I was 800 SR, yeah. No shot. You went so, from 800 to 4K. So over, over, over... <laughs> over from season 8 to season... What are we, 34? I, have I think climbed so. over 3200 SR. That is absolutely insane. And probably more to come if you continue to go on the path that you are on right now. I mean, it's nothing but impressive. It really shows that no matter where you are, so long as you put in that improvement and that grind set, eventually you will see the results that you want. Um, and I mean, maybe it won't be in 17 days like in Kurovi's case, but I mean, still, the improvement is there to be made. Let's move on here. Let, let's start focusing in on what you specifically did. What was like the thing that made you switch your, your whole mindset? Because I mean, you were like a diamond player for quite a long time to my understanding. You were around that rank. What would you say attributed most to your success? Like the, the, the thing that was just like, I get it now. The aha moment. This is what made me a GM player. This is what made me climb. What was that moment? And what was it in that moment that let you know that that was your time? I think the number one thing that like made me climb and when I realized it is saying, fuck my teammates. Like the, these, uh, so many people are hyper fixated on Oh, my teammates are so bad. 
oh, if it was for, if it wasn't for this DPS player who I, I'm only gonna get once in my entire lifetime in in Plat Diamond, I think just focusing on everybody else but yourself is just gonna make you lose. And you'll see that in Plat Diamond lobbies because every every person in that lobby just has an ego. So once you drop that ego and focus on your own mental and really try to learn as a player, you will see a spike in growth because you are now going from being a player who is completely destroyed by their surroundings to being a player who is fortified by their own belief in themselves. So genuinely, I think the mental is what put me in the right direction. I think second, if I had to like say three things, I think second, mm -hmm. it would have to be knowing what I'm capable of and how to put that to my advantage. I think it's quite obvious from the perspective of other people that I am just mechanically better than most players. Finding those vantage points in a game, for example, maps like Havana with lots of off angles in the first and also second point, uh, and finding how I can just abuse my characters and Yada and my advantages, like my mechanics, like I said previously, really helped me grow. I have just so many moments I can recall of me just deciding I'm gonna take this game into my own hands, being the single factor as to why my team won a game. Being the make or break of a team as Zenyatta is something that is so important, but yet so hard to do. And once you're able to really take up that mantle of I'm going to do this myself, you'll really, I, I really think that helped me grow as a player. And not only did it force me to improve on every level, but I also learned so much about the game that I didn't know previously. Uh, and finally, surrounding myself around people who wanted to see me improve. Uh, I have, after climbing, I have so many friends in such a short time of just people who were just behind me rooting for me. So when you surround yourself around the right people, instead of people who are gonna hold you back based on their mindset alone, the motivation factor pushes you forward as a player. I think the mental and taking the game to my own hands and finally having the motivation to really keep pushing forward and not give up is what led to, to me climbing. I mean, absolutely. I think that, you know, having a good mental is it's one of the biggest things that's like unheard of. People don't really talk about it on YouTube. People don't really talk about it on Twitter. It's just this unknown rule that a lot of Grandmaster players kind of get to. You have to have a good, strong mental, especially when you're playing Overwatch. It's such a mental game compared to these other games where it's just you have to be thinking all the time. You're playing with people that might not be the best or be, might be throwing. But I mean, in the sense of don't like not play with your teammates i mean always try to play with your teammates i think that's something you're trying to say but the what you're i think what you're getting at is you want to make sure that you're not worrying so much about your teammates making mistakes that you're completely just not looking at your own mistakes you always want to make sure that you have you have that growth mindset you're not fixed in your position you want to make sure that you're always doing something better one percent every game every day even but i mean absolutely i agree with everything that you said there and especially with the the surrounding yourself with the people that want you to succeed. I think that was a big thing for my climb personally. I used to play with my friends in high school. I'm not saying that my friends didn't want me to succeed. It was more so the fact that they didn't want to take the game as seriously as I did. So, you know, surrounding yourself with people with the same mindset to push you forward, that's what's going to help you just get that little bit better every single day. Because there are going to be those days that you're like, dude, I just want to give up. Like that tweet we mentioned earlier. I just want to give up. But mm -hmm. if you surround yourself with the people that want to see you, want to see you succeed, want to see you climb, I mean, I feel like those are the pivotal moments that you know you have those people. They're there to back you up and say, "No, dude, you're you're good enough. You had a bad day. Take a break. Take a breather, and go go the next day whenever you're ready." I think that's incredibly important. I mean, aside from the mindset, though, is there anything that, from a game knowledge perspective? that you learned it and you just knew that your gameplay stepped up to the next level because there has to have been one point in this journey where you were like okay i'm diamond and now i'm masters why is there one of those aha moments or did it just kind of happen and you're like well here i am i'm gm now um going back to how taking the game into your control as zenyatta 
so many people have the misconception that you just kind of have to sit there and play the same angle as your team. Once you realize as even a hitscan like Soldier or other characters like Hanzo and Sigma, you could really take your gameplay to the next level once you know the perfect uh, situations to really go on and do your own thing and force the enemy team to kind of buckle to your in-game pressure of you holding down, locking down different angles. I think realizing how to play aggressive correctly is what clicked in my head. Because on Zen, in, in lower ranks, there's two types of players. You're either feeding your brains out or you're playing so passive you have no impact on the game. I mean, yeah, I 100% agree with what you're saying that like understanding how to make the game play to you is something that's very important to understand, especially when you're climbing in the higher ranks. Um, I mean, to avoid having to lecture everyone for another 15 minutes about how that works, um, there was a VOD review that I actually did with Karovi um, recently, the recent one that we did, and I think that was uh, during the middle of that VOD when, before we were doing the attack phase, I think we really hinted at that, we really talked thoroughly about that kind of concept, so I think that's what you're getting at in terms of what you're talking about. Um, it, it just sounds like it's in your own words, which is good because now you know it. Mm -hmm. um, so I will link that in the description and the thumbnail will be on screen if you just want to find it that way. But uh, I just want to do what I do want to finish out the interview with a few more questions. If if there was like a, a one, ten sec, one ten second bit of advice that you would give to maybe an older self like that was in plat or just a player that's in plat right now that really wants to make that climb. What is that ten second tip? That 10 seconds of just knowledge that you want to shed on them to improve their gameplay experience. Learn the game. As a plat player, I can personally say it myself that there were so many misconceptions that I believed in. And once I realized that I was wrong and I seek to improve and I really looked to get better, I realized what I can do to really climb. And where I want to go with this is that you should really seek those resources find those ways for you to get better whether it's going to a friend who's better than you for a VOD review or or even Paz or just looking at better players play there's tons of YouTube videos out there really trying to learn the game and learning how to abuse your macro knowledge with your micro abilities is how you are practically guaranteed to climb you go watch most streamers most of them aren't too mechanically skilled but what they do have is such an in-depth knowledge of the game that they can abuse that to get to the to any position or point or or tempo that they that their team requires to win that game. So I think generally for a plat, even diamond, even masters player, all ranks up until GM, knowledge is key. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think micro is really important, but I think a lot of players hyper fixate on the aim, on the cooldown usage, on everything. It's still important. You can always get better at it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing and it's going to hinder how you use your cooldowns. And overall, just learning more about the game, I think, helps with everything, even the way and that you, you play solos. And you know what? Not every day is going to be a good day on Overwatch. No, no so never. If you lose, if you lose, don't quit. It took me, it was, not, it was not 1200 SR in 12 days it was 1200 sr in 17 days some days i drop and 17 days is a very very short amount of time it took me probably about a year and a half to hit gm on console and i was on console on pc it was about six months but i already had that idea of the game and i just had to get my mechanics up but i really appreciate your time krovi um what krovi on twitch instagram twitter twitch, every social media, every social you, can media you can possibly think of Go follow Karovi. I'll put a bunch of links right in the here on the screen. Right, it's right, right here. right here on the screen right now. I'm going to proceed to the outro. I really appreciate you for just being here, giving giving yourself the time. And also just fantastic story from Karovi. And I'm, I'm assuming, you know, I'm going to say it right now. I'm looking forward to that montage. And it's coming, bro. Thanks, for, thanks for coming along. Karovi's story is absolutely insane. Big congratulations to him and please do check him out. Anyone can do it and it's just a matter of getting into a good mindset to pursue your goals. You all have found this channel and I am confident in my abilities to make good resourceful content to aid you in your climb. Within the coming weeks, I will be making a video series specifically about how to get from any rank to GM and my thoughts on what really helps Karovi climb to the top. So make sure you subscribe if you are interested in that. It helps the channel out a ton as well and I would greatly appreciate it. Good luck with climbing. Bye.
But until next time, I've got a peace out and pass out. I'll see you in the next one.